we have a, a flexible substrate, which eventually will turn into a solar cell wrapped around a rotating drum. And we spray our quantum dot ink onto that rotating drum. The device is made up of simple parts, a syringe, spray nozzle, a few hoses and airbrushes from an art store. But it's producing something that could one day power your home or car. This is the active material in a solar cell. We've seen solar panels on rooftops, but what's being made in this U of T lab could take solar energy to the next level. Those solar cells, though, are manufactured in a relatively expensive way and um, one piece at a time. What we're hoping to do here is be able to coat large areas all at once. This is the idea. For now, it's a piece of plastic with some dark coating on it. But in the future, picture something like this, rolled out like wallpaper covering your entire roof. Roofs might sort of not be enough. You, if you really want to solve the world's energy uh, issues, then you've got to coat lots of stuff with solar cells, maybe pave roads with it. We imagine that you could then take that and apply it directly to an airplane wing, or a car fender, or something like that. The project launched more than a year ago and is part of an investment plan where IBM is the main partner. U of T researchers are the first to find a new way to spray solar cells onto flexible material. A few years down the road, we could be seeing the rolled up panels at home improvement stores. That would be perfect, actually. Why wouldn't you do that? It might end up being pricey, but I mean, if it gets to a good price, why not? It'll help in the long run, the hydro and all that stuff, yeah. I think it's pretty innovative, I guess. I think so. Researchers will continue to work on creating larger solar cells in the lab, and the hope is that in the not so distant future, these wallpaper like solar panels will be converted to a solar spray. Andrea Puno, City News.